today's video is sponsored by Oatsum. They sent me their organic oat milk, and guys, I have just, this is it. I'm, I'm, I'm sponsored by an oat milk company, which is literally the coolest thing in the freaking world. Super kind enough to send me over their oat milk to try, and y'all know I'm all about that non-dairy life, okay? I'm all about the almond milk, the cashew milk, but oat milk, mostly. Oat milk is the best in my opinion. If you guys are gonna go dairy free, I highly recommend oat milk. It is the one I find that has the least nutty taste because it's not made from nuts. I really love it. I'm literally caressing my oat milk. I think that you can just use oat milk or non-dairy beverages in your coffee, but you can use them for everything. I use them in my cereal. I use them to bake. I use them to cook when I do that. You use them for everything. You guys know that oats are actually one of the most sustainable grains on the planet and it's 80% less water to grow oats than it does almonds. So technically, if you guys are gonna go a non-dairy route, you go the oat milk route because you're also saving the planet. You're like making a difference in the world, one oat at a time, really. But I will leave Oatsum's link down below to Oatsum for sponsoring today's video. And I just love this oat milk so much. It's so delicious. Highly recommend if you guys are in the market for a new non-dairy milk beverage. Let's make a coffee. Let's get to studying. I am so excited about today's video. I don't even think you're ready for it because this is the best part about making a coffee in the morning. Ooh, oh yeah, look at that. Normally I do this before my coffee, but I totally forgot. Um, I started taking this Greens Balance, uh, like 25 fruits and veggies in it, and I've been having really bad bloating issues lately, so I've been starting to take that, so I just have a little glass of water. I basically just do like a little shooter since it's pretty gross. It's so gross. You guys are... But it's so good for me and I know it. And I'm literally a huge cereal cake lately. This is my favorite cereal. It's so good and crunchy, I love it. It's actually gluten free, which I had no idea. I've been eating this for years, I just love it. So I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have it with some oat milk. Hey guys, I'm literally just like sitting here studying and I randomly get an email that I got a raise. This is great. Oh my God, if you guys don't know, getting a raise is awesome because that means you get retroactive pay, which retroactive pay basically means like from the time that they decided you deserved a raise, which mine was December 2nd, from December 2nd until now, calculate how many hours you worked and then they'll like pay you that difference, which is awesome. Amazing. Wow, I'm in such a good mood. So I finished my cereal. I'm still working on my coffee. I'm just sitting here and studying for my um, geriatric neuro test tomorrow on mild cognitive impairment. So just making some cue cards for that, studying, chilling. I have a doctor's appointment in a little bit, which I'm gonna leave for. Yeah, I'm not a super big like morning eater. I don't know what it is. I'm just not like a huge like to eat in the morning kind of gal um and then i'll show you guys what we're eating for the rest of the day but i probably honestly won't eat until i get back from my appointment this is jack and back on scene. the new sound of the 80s suddenly you hear it everywhere i'm gonna give you guys an out for the day i don't really know why though because i'm literally just wearing my typical disney sweater i literally love in this all my buns look so weird just wearing this it's spring outside and I'm so excited. It's so warm outside. I'm so happy. Wearing this just with some Lulu lines and then my Steve Madden purse. Gonna go to my doctor's appointment and then come back home and probably edit for the afternoon until I have to go to work. So. The most exciting package yesterday in the mail from Chatbooks. Um, if I can find a discount code for you guys, I will. But basically they put together these little photo books and I got this one for Matt and I for our Disney trip. Cute, you can get different covers and stuff, but it's super easy. It's like a little app that you use. Um, and so then I just put this little photo book together of our trip, um, which I thought was sweet to look back on. But yeah, so I'm really excited about that. I want to share it with you guys. So many influencers talk about it, and I wanted to get one. So now we have one, and I'm really excited. And they sent me two, which is so sweet. So Matt has one, and I have one. <laughs> I think I'm going to need a jacket today. That's how nice it is outside. I'm really excited. I'm also really excited because I get to listen to a podcast, and the sun is shining. I'm in such a good mood. Also, remember the vlog last week where I rode the midterm and my car had a flat tire? I literally thought I failed it because I went into that midterm so anxious and stressed because I just had to deal with the flat tire. Thank God Matt came to the rescue and saved me, but 
Feel that I literally thought I failed it. Like I honestly literally was like I got an F. I got a B and I'm so happy. I definitely didn't study as much as I should have because I had two other tests that week and an essay. But I got a freaking B on it, you guys, and I'm so happy about it. So I wanted to update you guys on that. Got in the car. I really wanted a snack. I went to grab a protein bar and I'm out and I'm really sad about it. If you guys are living under a rock, you would not know that I've been literally obsessed. I have like four of these wrappers in my car. That's how much I eat these. The Simply Protein Bars, they are so good. I have never found a protein bar I've liked ever in my life. Like I'm so picky and these are so good. This is a cinnamon pecan one, but they're all really amazing. And they're plant-based, which is nice. So good, but I'm out and I'm very sad. I have a box of mats, but I'm obviously not there right now. So that's sad. I also filled up my water. I drink five of these a day. I try and drink 120 ounces of water a day. Hydration is key, y'all. So, get the shades on. I need to get new sunglasses because all of mine are just lost. I think I have like three pairs in Matt's car. And let's put on, you know what? I'm kind of in a music mood. You know, it's sunny, it's springy. Let's put the tunes on. Let's see what comes on when we shuffle. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, okay, I just got out of my appointment. It's 12. It was a pretty long appointment, but I guess there like is a lot to go over. Like I just thought it was gonna be like 10-15 minutes, but no. So I'm gonna head home and now. I need to go stop and get grilled chicken because I don't have any. And then I'm gonna head home and probably edit and just get a little bit more work done. I don't have to leave for work for another three hours, which is nice, but yeah, so let's head out. We're gonna go to the grocery store, grab some chicken, and I will probably talk to you guys when we get, to, I'll probably talk to you guys when we get to the grocery store. Yay! This is my little random grocery haul. So, came in for grilled chicken. My favorite snack, turkey pepperoni sticks. They're so good. I think partially skim mozzarella is the only thing that doesn't upset my stomach, so I got some of that. And got some oranges because I've been on a little orange kick and then I got this green juice because y'all know I've been bloating and I don't normally like fall for this stuff like this was like five dollars but I honestly just wanted to try it a lot of people say that celery juice is really good for bloating so I wanted to try it and this literally has cucumber spinach romaine celery lemon lemongrass and salt so I'm gonna have this on the way home and see how it makes me feel there's a lot of food going on here but I want to show you guys what I pack for like a day shift um, because I'm working evening today and I feel like doing what I eat in a day is like like, you just can get some ideas from this. So, tonight I work in evening. I'm going to mats after. I'm working evening tonight. So, this is my... I just have two lunch bags. But, um, I'm bringing everything tonight to work with me for the next day because I'm going to mats tonight. Um, so, for an evening, I had just meal prepped... I meal prepped some roast and some cheesy rice from Uncle Ben's. Super easy. Just, like, pop this in the microwave. And then I just made some roast. I have a jello. I'm like a jello fiend. I love it so much. And then I just have some of these like crackers with guacamole. Um, and this looks like a pretty small dinner, but the rice and pot roast is super filling. And then I obviously feel like I'm going to have some stuff at Matt's tonight when I go over after work. So I'm going to save some cows for then. So that's my dinner. And then I'm still going to snack because it's only 12.55. So I'm still going to snack until I go to work. For a day shift tomorrow, um, normally for breakfast, I have... Oh my gosh, just plain Greek yogurt with um, strawberry banana crystal light and some strawberries in it. That is a super high protein, low carb breakfast because it's plain Greek yogurt and there's like literally 30 grams of protein in this. Amazing. I have an orange for a snack. I'm only at work tomorrow from 7.30 to 3.30, so it's a pretty short day. I've just got the leftover turkeys from today that I didn't eat. Some of those rice crackers with laughing cow, which is literally my downfall in life. So good. Um, and then I just have these. I keep these always on hand. They're just so good to have on the go. They have rice crackers and tuna is just a good source of protein on the go. So that's that because I have class right after and then I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner. I'll probably come home or go to mats or something. So. Lunch is like literally the same thing almost every day because I'm a person of creature of habit. So sourdough toasted. Now we're going to put the laughing cow on. And there you have it. It probably looks really weird and gross, but it's just like a little open-faced turkey sandwich. This is the tomato, sun-dried tomato basil turkey breast. It's my favorite. And it's just on a little piece of bread with a laughing cow. So yummy. That's my little lunch. High protein. We love it. Let's get back to work. I'm also going to have one of these for dessert. I the Walmart little thin crisps. They're kind of like little Oreo things. They're just like a nice little snack if you want something sweet. Steve Fox examines an overnight phenomenon. Rapping to the beat. This 
since I'm about to head out to work, I figure I'd just end the vlog here. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I would keep vlogging, but normally I just go to work and then I end the vlog after dinner anyway. So like, what's the difference between me ending it now and later? But if you guys enjoyed, thank you so much to Oatsum for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!